Hello. Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about my uh, beginner graded card collection. Um, so I just got back into uh, collecting cards, and I have thousands upon thousands of cards that are in these binders. Um, Pokemon. Uh, started buying a lot of Digimon, uh, Card Fight Vanguard, um, One Piece. One Piece is awesome, man. I like. Even the common cards look amazing, They're, and just looking at them make me happy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, I, start, I started going crazy with buying cards, and I, I started, you know, discovering the the world of uh, graded cards, and so I bought some. <laughs> and so, um, so I went on to Mercari, and I was trying to bid on eBay, but I didn't win anything. But here's my first set of graded cards. Oh, 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 oh. Basically, these three just came in today, and this other set of ten, uh, they came in yesterday. So, um, so these are considered my first set, and then this is my second set. And it feels really good to hold these in your hand. I can see why people get addicted and get obsessed with collecting cards. So this is ten uh, uh, basketball uh, cards. I don't even watch basketball. I just uh, bought them because they were cheap. Like I, I did a bulk offer for the guy, and he gave them to me. And I just wanted to hold graded cards in my hand. So here, here is what I have: pink camo, Cam Cameron Johnson. PSA nine. Tyler Hero, PSA ten. Tyler Hero, PSA nine. Michael Porter Jr., PSA nine. Cam Reddish, PSA 10. I don't know how to pronounce the name. De Aaron, De Aaron, Fox, PSA 8. Michael Porter Jr., PSA 9. Tyler Hero, PSA 9. Michael Porter Jr., PSA 9. And Cole Anthony, PSA 9. So that was my first set. These feel awesome. I, 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 but I, I did have like kind of a question with some of these cards. But I'll, I'll, I'll make a different video. Or actually, no, I'm going to talk about it now. Some of these cards, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's not uh, centered correctly. Now I'll just make a different video about that um, because I'll use my phone to get the ads better. Resolution, uh, uh, more uh, you can see the detail, but it's not centered inside of the case, and I don't know why that is. Um, I saw it in a couple of these, but uh, today I received these three from another seller. It gave me a great deal. I'm very happy. So these are three um, OG Pokemon cards, but it's from the was it Sword and Shield era? I want to say. And I think I'm gonna stick to just um, when it comes to graded cards, I'm gonna try and stick to uh, the Japanese cards and not the American ones because uh, or the English ones because um, the Japanese ones, uh, you know, everyone just says it looks better. Um, I don't want to be a follower, but you know, when I kept as I looked at the the cards, I started thinking to myself like they do actually look better. <laughs> so I I, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to stick to Japanese cards whenever I can. But obviously, if I find you know, a good deal. I'm I'm not gonna discriminate. But yeah, so let's I got the Gem Mint 10 uh, reverse hollow ghastly. And then he evolves into Haunter Nine. Wait. Does Ghastly evolve into Haunter or Haunter evolves into Gengar? Is Gengar Gengar the final evolution? I forgot. I would assume so because Gengar has legs. You know, this is just a head. This he has some hands. The hunter, and then Gengar has a full body. Maybe that's the evolution. But yeah, I'm very happy to have these graded cards. I'm thinking about buying a case, um, but I'm I'm not I don't I'm not sure yet. I want maybe a display case 
or one of those um, like gun looking cases, the, uh, those cases that look like they hold guns, um, to carry around, but I don't think I'm going to be carrying them around. Or, or the binder, the binder looks cool to me, but I'm still, you know, debating on what, what kind of storage I want to use for these cards. And I have a couple more coming, so I'm hoping to build up a nice collection of graded cards. Alright, and that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, keep watching. Um, I'll, I'll still, I'm still going to collect the uh, action figures. I, I'm probably going to start playing video games a lot more. For some reason, when I come home from work, I keep playing like old retro fighting games or retro uh, shooting games. It, it, it's kind of like a um, therapeutic for me. So <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm gonna keep doing that, and, and I'll start um, making videos or even streaming it. Oh, I did, I did, um, I did buy this book off Amazon for seven dollars. That was a good deal. This um, it has it covers eight hundred seventy five Pokemon, and I know that you know we can find everything online nowadays. But it feels good to have something printed. And look at the the artwork. The pages is nice and uh, it's not glossy, but it's nice. And so I think I'm gonna spend a lot of time sitting here reading and getting to know all of the new Pokemon, because outside of the original one five one, and maybe some after that where um, Pokemon Go, I. I have zero familiarity, so I'm gonna get to know them as I start collecting Pokemon cards as you know my vice <laughs> to keep me sane. Alright, and uh, yeah, oh I got these guys. Uh, BCW uh, sleeves. I think this is like the cheapest brand you can get. Uh, maybe there's more generical brands that don't have a name, but those are actually more expensive. <laughs> so I got a bunch of these. Um, so maybe I'm going to sell them in my uh, Mercari store, and uh, I'll do that, and I'll also just, uh... oh, you know, you know what I can do? Because I can actually just open this, take out the the little card that says BCW, and just put my own card in there, and rebrand it, and say like, oh, this is so hot uh, sleeves. Yeah, but I have a bunch of these, um, and I needed sleeves anyways. Uh, I was using the, is that the... The ultra ones, or not ultra, whatever the the pro one is, the standard one. I was using those ones. I was using a couple of genericos. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, everything is great. I don't really see any difference. I, I try not to use the special ones with the the background in it. The uh, you know the 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 Magic the Gathering. They always come up with certain sleeves. Uh, Pokemon comes out with certain sleeves and things like that for their themes. Um, because I want to look at the back of the card as well. Um, so I got a bunch of these. And I made a lot of order on the TCG player, uh, buying like common cards and just hollow cards. Um, and I've been stacking these guys up with them. So uh, I'll be making videos to show them. Uh, but they make me really, really happy. Like, so, like turning the page and seeing those cards make me very happy, seeing all the colors. Kind of similar to this. Like, this is the happy book. I guess it's for kids because it's published by Scholastic. Well, I mean, Pokemon just in general is made for kids, but I mean, most of the collectors are adults now. Probably over the hill. And we really need, you know, things that make us happy. So, this is a. Uh, you know, this, this is something that uh, can do that. <laughs> Alright. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll start streaming and making videos for um, games and other collections. Uh, Soon, I, I want to be more active on here. Alright, have a good day.